Hello, welcome to Zatu Games. I'm Nick from Pads and Pawns, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Kickstarter version of Oath. This is the latest game from Leader Games, who of course put out games such as Root and Vast. Uh, so let's go take a look what's in the box. This is Oath, O-A-T-H, not double F, uh, from Leader Games. This is the Kickstarter version. Um, they, the Kickstarter version are currently out of stock for pre-order on the website, um, but this is an indication that it should be, should be not too long before they start arriving, if you've pre-ordered and before a retail version hits. I'm very excited about this. It's kind of a... Uh, one of you's an emperor or king, and uh, you kind of live out a story of that empire. And uh, yeah, I'm quite excited about it. I'm quite excited to look at the components. Wait, another quick look on the back. It's a decent sized box, decent sized box. Uh, so we have some wooden pieces, we have a world box. Here we go. In Oath, one to six players will guide the history of an ancient land. One player controls the Chancellor, who ru rules with an iron fist and a silver tongue. Not literally. The other players will take the roles of either citizens manoeuvring to be the Chancellor's successor or desperate exiles attempting to topple the Empire. Get playing fast. If you don't like reading rules up front, our card-based setup and quick start will walk you through. Expansive and immersive world, Oath remembers. Every game of Oath is linked together in an ever-evolving campaign that supports multiple playthroughs. Each player at the table has power to change the course of history. Build great monuments, then watch them fall into ruin in generations to come. 200 cards, 100 um, screen printed wooden pieces, 17 custom dice, and a neoprene mat, and thoughtful storage. It compliments you. When you uh, come to the box, you open it up and it goes, you're looking very nice today. Is there anything you'd like to talk about? That's what thoughtful storage means. Hello, you're gorgeous. See? Okay. Uh, play through. Read me first. I have seen that it's a little bit harder to learn than perhaps it makes out. But what I might do is maybe play through a solo mode on uh, my own Twitch, kind of taking the campaign and doing a little story for my own Twitch and um, then do multiplayers with my gaming group. So all very familiar artwork. If you've got Root, then we have set up key components. Wow. <laughs> What's this? Path priority. Play friend, play conspirator. The clockwork prince's mind. Oh, okay, so this is... This is the solo mode, I think. The clockwork prince. Clockwork in root is... Um, the autonomous. Let's have a punch. Big one comes out well, as you'd expect. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I like you to punchy. So there's only two sheets of punch board. I guess those might be card. Um, what you call? What you call them? Card um, board, yes. But also dividers, dividers, card dividers. Did anyone else back oath? Are you all waiting for retail world deck has a little piggy on there's some nomads discord they've got their own discord server so not that you know so they're pretty advanced <laughs> oh, I laugh at my own humor right don't even know where to start here okay let's take these out first the Chancellor the exile so it looks like you've got very similar kind of wake uh, act and rest, very similar kind of turn process to something like Root. The Exiles, so you have uh, 
uh, exiles and a chancellor there, and citizens are on the back of the exiles, and the clockwork prince is on the back of the chancellor. I might need to refer to this to see where it all goes back. Oh, these are nice. Let's look at these first. Oh, wow. Are these... I don't think these are wood. I think these are um, resin. They're really... They're kind of heavy and clanky. They are great. Little gold-coloured inlays. Fantastic. I like them, some metal coins it looks like underneath. This was one I was kind of backed and I was happy just to be surprised by it. Sometimes you know too much about these games and I trusted leader games from previous campaigns, from Root. Uh, some really nice coins with kind of a little chuck on one side and some hands and some love on the other. Again, maybe small but quite weighty. Wait. Uh, let's go here next. Chronicle book. Uh, baggies, the world box, which obviously need building. Is this for me to take notes or is there already notes in it? I'll give it a sniff. Nothing, I got nothing. This is absolutely record of victory. And you've got 50 odd pages, of, what, 60. There was something else though. Oh yeah, just the back. So this is your record of victories. Nice. We have some, uh, flip this over to start the setup. So I'm not gonna open these with these on because, um, I'll give you a little look at the backs, but I don't want to spoil too much. The Hidden Place, Dragon Skin Drum, so those are kind of equipment. This one we can open up. He just decides. <laughs> Again, you're going to be used to the artwork if you've played Root or Vast. Ugh. Time this just really well for the end of lockdown for me, and these all seem to be... Mushrooms, the bed, Bebba, second chance. Uh, they're all the same type, which I will discover. Uh, archive, only open after your first game. Got some more of those types. And packet B, flip this card over. Wizard School, Harry Potter. Okay, is this a, yeah, removable? I hope it tells you where to put everything. Uh, nice, these look great. So we have one standard looking D6, yeah. And then we have some uh, attack and defense dice. I'm gonna boldly assume due to the presence of swords and shields. This one has, is that insta-kill? Or does it summon a skeleton? Times two. So there's those. And then we come to the bag of wood. Get rid of that. So just some standard markers here. One is a uh, screen printed there. Uh, some circular discs and then all sorts in there. Some, um, this big geese along with his little geese. I saw all this lot, I'll open it roughly and I'll sort it out later for y'all. Again, big and little, little and large. So I'm wondering if these are various factions in the game. Looks cross him. He looks a bit, a bit cross. And uh, orange ones. He looks a bit crafty. Maybe he's cross because he's been crafty and she just finds it hilarious. And then the last bits of wood, 
before we get to the last component, which is this unopenable do it here roll that smells I'm not sure if it's exactly nice <laughs> but it's not fishy sometimes these smell a bit fishy oh that is really the sparkle you're seeing is here in real life as well we have the cradle the provinces and the hinterland loads of stuff across the bottom that is shining in real life as it is. It's not just a camera effect. I'm not a wizard. There we go. That is a look at everything in Oath. This is one I will definitely look to start as soon as possible. Maybe solo. Um, if I do do that, that will be on my private Twitch, unless I get told to do on Zato. I'm, a, I'm an obedient boy. Um, but I will look forward to bringing reports from my notebook soon. Thanks for watching another Zatu video. Do remember to hit like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. If you want more content from us, we are also on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram and TikTok. Uh, we stream live on Twitch on Monday's lunchtimes from 12pm. Uh, that's a solo board game. And we stream live from 9pm on Fridays playing some video games. On Wednesdays from 8pm on Facebook is our weekly live show. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again next time.